All right, well, before we get on going with tonight, uh, we have the Smash.gg ladder, of course, five days of ladders, uh, February 23rd and 27th. You guys already know, East and West Coast, $725 prize pool. Sign up now, smash.gg forward slash gg ladder. Uh, you guys already know where to watch it, man. Twitch.tv forward slash 2G gaming. Best place to watch. And also, shout out to Smash GG for working for pretty much uh, presenting this opportunity. A lot of big things coming from them, especially since they've been acquired by Microsoft. So, also, a lot of good things are on its way to come. And this is definitely one of them on their road. I guess I guess the roadmap, I guess. Not too much to know about it. But, anyways. Uh, Check it out, man. Smash.gg ladder, of course, happening next week, February 23rd and 24th. Yep. And uh, I'm playing in uh, the ladder. So, yeah. That'll be fun. You guys should sign up. Yeah. But, oh uh, my god. <laughs> speaking of signing up, man, uh, Paulo Kaka is signing up to deal some damage up against Bestness here. 58% already. So, uh, immediately off the bat, I can tell he knows what to- Oh no, please. Not like this. Not like this! He almost died! I was gonna say, I know- I can tell Paolo Kage knows what to do in this matchup. Because he's just fighting Ness. <laughs> like, you- you can- you have to just fight Ness without specials for a while. <laughs> Until you can hit him far enough to where you can have enough time to set up the explosions. Is working out pretty well. You can also, uh, well, he definitely dropped that first stock, but like, you can also fight him for a little bit, and then you start using like the grenades to bait out the side magnet, and then you you hit him while he's like doing that move. But a part of what makes it kind of rough in this game is that the side magnet also has a win box as well, so you can just get pushed back before you can even hit Ness for doing that move. Oh, the Nikita sent him the opposite way. That's unfortunate for Apollo Kage. Oh, Apollo missing the chance of the Nikita here. Ooh, oh, no. no. Okay. okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I thought he was going to get stage spiked, honestly. Is he going under the stage? Oh, I, oh my. Yeah, untackable, untackable, untackable. <laughs> I've never even seen Ness do that before. Nice. Yeah, I don't blame him going for that fair. Definitely would have been worth it if you can get that fair to uh, kill at like, what, 50%? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the heal. Oh, Ooh, no. Yeah. Slight poke. Slight poke on the up smash. Barely missing that C4. Neutral air, fair, every aerial, well spaced. <laughs> it's so hard to punish. Oh, that was sick. But he probably should have just did up tilt instead of there. Because you can like jump over their get up attack and then up tilt them. Uh, pretty freely. Oh no. PK oh, everything. Man. Double PK flash into up B. Oh no. Best Ness is doing some insane stuff already. Man, I was gonna say, yeah, that was a PK stock. <laughs> the way that Best Ness was able to take you know it you know what we, you know what we, you know what would be sick? If a Ness player did every PK move to kill someone <laughs> in one combo. I think that's what we just watched, right? Just literally no, he really didn't He didn't do PK fire. He did PK flash, PK flash, up B. Okay, but to be fair, that did look like what we just watched. The events that transpired pretty much was close enough to what you just described. Nah, it wasn't, though. He missed the one PK move. Oh my god. Okay, one move. It, it matters. What the heck? 
I used to call it W. Come on. I mean, that was cool, but like, it wasn't all the PK moves in, in one stock or combo. I'm just saying, you know, there's something for him to think about. <laughs> if he really wants to, you know, this man strides highlight. really. This man strides really nitpicking. You're like, hold on, man. Yeah. You didn't use this move. Doesn't count. Go back to the start of the screen. True. It's not, it wouldn't make it in my next combo video. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Apollo Kage is in disadvantage. He's getting juggled. He's getting comboed. This is very, very rough. Best Nets tried to see if he can bait him to roll, get like a hard punish. He definitely just healed a ton of percent, but wow. Be Oof. Alakai went for some crazy combo there. If you got yeah. that C4 stick out of that, that would have been pretty cool. Oh, not the best DI on there. It's kind of rough right now. Look at the way that Best Nets threat threatens Apollo Kage with the. In yeah, because look, oh. if he tries to set up C4 or go around C4 to land. He'll absorb it and then he'll punish Apollo Kage for it. So he's effectively shutting down C4 for Apollo Kage on the stage, which is really smart from Best Ness. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can't. Yeah, come you back. can. You can just shorten uh, Ness's up B with Nikita. That's just a thing Snake can do. But that was just really smart for Apollo Kage to hit Best Ness out of his jump. These forward airs coming out from Paul Kage. He really, he, like, he really just wants to use TQC to the fullest. The punches, the kicks. No, no specials here. You don't want Ness to heal. <laughs> oh my God! Double parry and the grenade. Oh wow, he actually had enough time to jab after PK flash on shield? Unfortunate. Yo, nice punish. Actually messing up Vestness for uh doing that poor side magnet. Oof, almost gonna be up R2. Yeah, that was clean. Yo, Paul Kai is going crazy right now, but not not the best C4 there. No, not at all. Still though, I really like that narrative down tilt. Some really good use of uh, snakes normals right now. Ooh, nice platform movement from Vestness. Oh, gotta be careful here. Nice gets the stick. <laughs> Zestus is just really just gonna charge the whole time. And Paul Kage is just, he's he's waiting. <laughs> he's just waiting. Yeah, I would've played. Oh, yeah, this I would've played. No, that was that was good patience, dude. That was like... so smart. That was so smart. <laughs> dude, Vestness actually was so dead there. He couldn't do anything. Dude, literally Apollo yeah. kinda kinda knew. Like he had to force Best Ness into a situation where like him going for absorption was bad. Once he threw Nikita into the mix, that was pretty much over. Nah, this matchup's even. Actually. Ness doesn't flat out win. Wait, who said who said that it wasn't even? Uh, no, they were just asking if Ness wins this matchup. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't see that in the chat. I'm sorry. There's a lot of spam happening, but I saw that. Mm. It's a lot of, uh... It depends on how the snake plays. If the snake is just mindlessly pressing B the whole time, then yeah, Ness wins. But <laughs> if uh, if the snake's actually fighting Ness, it, it, it's an even matchup. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. It all depends on how you approach it from from a snake point of view. Like if you're if you're calculated and understand how how you can counter Ness as a character and his absorptions, then yeah, you can 
You can win this, but yeah, it sucks right says. Don't don't mind us just press B in. That's what we don't see from Apollo Kage. He's very like well aware of like what he needs to do to win this and definitely he saw that out when he played against Best off offstage last game. Yeah, that last game, Edgeguard was like so smart. Almost gets the back air in time. Ooh. Really good pivot grab there. Yep, that's fine. He's fine with letting him get the uh the side magnet there because he can still punish afterwards. Ooh. That was not worth <laughs> Not worth Best Mess saw him charging. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna aim directly at you. Oh, no back oh. air. Yeah, you can tell that's what Apollo Kirkham was looking for. Finds it here off the stage. Nikita to force Best Nest to go for a lower recovery. Yep. Yeah. What a play. Even if he didn't die to the Nikita, he would just up B into the Nikita for the next part of his recovery and he'd just die. So, yeah, really good edge guard for Apollo Kage. See, again, he's fine with letting him get the side mounted there because he can still punish with the dash attack. Yep, there's again. Oh. All right, Kaga's gotta watch. Yeah, he's gotta watch the landing here. Honestly, I think it's, it would be better for Bestness to just up B Snake when he's recovering like that. Seems more likely to hit than PK Flash, but he's the expert. Down tilt. Oh, an excellent backer here. Just to try to push him off the stage. Get stage control. That's what Apollo Kaga is looking for. Just more stage control. Down smash oh. missing the mark here. Yeah, 16. Really Watch the yeah, yeah, mm. Oh. Did Best Nest know that he would get sent towards him like that? I don't know if he <laughs> did, but if I were Paul Kage, man, that would hurt. Why is Ness's up tilt that strong? <laughs> it just seems, <laughs> it seems like that move shouldn't kill. That's the way it looks. The parry attempts from Paul Kage. But oh, good nice goal roll. Tech yeah, chase. yeah, good tech yeah. chase. Tech roll read. Oh, oh, Apollo uh, Kage was slowly climbing his way back with that absorption was so big. It's fine. Oh, almost, man. Free. Oh, he didn't go for F tilt there. Try to get a C4 stick again. Nice. That back right was really good here, seeing the positioning where Bezness was. Covers the ground with a grenade. Oh, oh no, Apollo oh. Kage. Watch yourself. Oh, mm -mm. oh he no. Could, yeah, he didn't have the C4 properly placed. Dang. He got actually messed up by the win box, pushing him off stage. Because he, uh... Yeah, he, he got win boxed and he immediately buffered something. Because he didn't expect to get pushed off stage. I Paul Kage is playing this matchup very well in spite of that game. I, I think he definitely knows what he's doing in this matchup. So I still can see him winning this set right now. Bestness is also so good though. You can't make any you can't give him any freebies or do anything that's super, you know, super YOLO on him. You will punish you very hard. Yeah, I was going to say, man, you got to put some respect to the man's name. He's not giving out, he's never handing out free ones for sure. Dang, Bestness said, oh, you're going Battlefield? I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll keep these platforms, man. <laughs> I'm dodging all the grenades. Yeah, this Astasia is pretty good for Ness. Like, you can see how he's able to maneuver around the platform so well. He also has like the angle and his PK fire on the platform is really good too. He can just cover a lot of space on this stage. Yeah. But this is like a traditional really good snake stage too, so... 
not surprised to see uh, Paulo Kage go here. Alright, Kage looking for an opportunity here. 118 best nest. Oh, whiff grab here. I was gonna say, yeah, best nest has been doing a really good job of poking on shield and then moving away to force Kage to go for an option afterwards. And at that point, Ness will just be far away from him. They can punish him for it like so. Oh my god. Big up smash. Ooh, yeah. So strong. Yeah, as you can see, he's doing a. Uh, Hawkeye is doing a lot of back air. That's mainly to catch Ness's double jump. Or anything to force Ness off stage. But even better if he gets a double jump with it, because he can edge guard really well. But, uh. Yeah, Best is starting to play around that strategy pretty well. Mm, oh. The back air missing was so crucial too. That gave Ness so much. <sighs> no grab, yeah. <sighs> this oh, is looking like, yeah. Another man. catch on the roll. Man, Best is so good at hitting that up smash. This is looking rough around Paul Kage by the second. Big juggle here. Yeah, he's gonna get the oh. platform extension too. Try to get the drag down up there to the up tilt. Still going. Gonna get a heal as well. Oh my goodness. Paul Kage, everything is going wrong for him right now. And everything is going right for business. There's that angle again. Oh but yeah, rough. Not gonna rough be flesh this time. Really pivot grab from Bestness. Yeah, just really catching Snake's landing super, super hard. Oh, that would have been rough for Kage if he got hit by that, but it's still alive here. 131, Bestness on the absorption. Yeah, this is looking like the reset for Bestness, and it yeah. indeed Set is. Two. Set two. Bestness playing so well in the matchup right now. Especially on that stage, uh, he just had so much control. I don't know. I don't think Battlefield's the play versus Best Nest right now. Are right, we on to set two though? That's the that's the beauty of being in the winner's side of Grants. You you got another chance. Yeah, man, Best has been in these types of situations so many times. Like, I've seen this guy win so many tournaments from winners, losers, it doesn't matter. This guy has eyes on the prize. That, that $20. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See uh, Paul Kage win the uh, MSM though, especially in this type of matchup, over one of the best Ready. online players, for sure. But set two. Okay, I definitely like PS2 a little bit more than Battlefield in this matchup. Uh, Bestness was just using the top platform so well. 
in Battlefield. He can still use these platforms really well with the PK fire, but a little bit easier for Snake to play around, in my opinion. Yeah. So scary. He really wants these forwarders to work. Just, I don't know, they're just barely missing each time. <laughs> Bestness just up smashed three times in neutral. Saying, I know you're gonna run into this man. No respects for Apollo Kage's snake right now. Oh, that was scary. The way that Bestness and angled that PK Thunder, whew, specifically where Apollo Kage was, but he gets the first set of Nida up tilt. That's yeah, that so really yeah. good. It's good for the reason uh, jumping over their get up attack. You could you could just do up tilt instead of near up tilt, but near up tilt looks cooler. Yeah, there goes Bestness using the platforms with the PK Fire, as he tends to do on this stage. Good dash attack, yeah. Keeping the stock alive, but man, he's, he can't really find a solid opening on Bestness. Bestness is like so hard to hit right now. Okay, good trade for Paul Kage. Oh my goodness, these aerials. They yeah, Kage at 171 best net, not a 61 with that absorption. This is looking rough for Kage. Looking to find out, yeah, good angle of the shield though. Able to avoid getting shield poked. Yeah, best is like really aware of where the C4 is too. Nice. And yeah, and he gets the heal. heal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, good direction air dodge. Pretty much negating all of the Nikita. Man, this ledge play from Bestness is so hard to deal with, dude. That PK flash, it's like, you're forced to just block at the, at the ledge. You can just grab the stage for free. Almost gets the shield break. C4, hmm. Good on Kage for those attempts, though. Twice in a row missing. He's got the C4 at the ledge. <sighs> yeah, Bestness not going to fall for it just yet. Bestness is so good at playing at the ledge, like... I would never expect Ness to be able to do this the way he's able to just stay off stage for so long. It almost feels like he's practiced this, like against this matchup. Like he knows what to do to how to outlast Snake at the ledge. Like this is normally a spot Snake would do really good at, but just the way that Bez Ness is able to handle it as a whole is just like really tough for Kage. Yeah, especially because he has the side magnet. Like he mm -hmm. tries to make the ledge unsafe with explosive, Ness just heals. Yeah, he really, he really can't give him that anymore, and that's I think something Kage has realized. Like he's not even putting C, he put C4 there, but he doesn't even put grenade there anymore. Taking into consideration, like yeah, that's another heal for Bestness. <laughs> Best dude, and it's it's crazy because Bestness is not left the ledge. Okay, okay. <laughs> there's the C4, dude. Bestness looking like Wii Fit trainer, bro. Dude, this yeah, guy I was, was, I was gonna say he's ledge legit ledge like camping. <laughs> yeah, he is ledge camping, bro. He knows. Look at look at how much he's got on Apollo Kage. He's about to JV him right now. 131. Kage trying to make a little cover here, but the down air will catch it before he can think about it. What a catch, dude. Bestness playing way too damn good right now.
You think about the real victory here for Bestness, particularly in that interaction, honestly, is going to be coming down to mental stamina. Like, he has drained a lot of Apollo Kake just ledge camping there as a whole, and then finally getting that downer. You can imagine, like, Apollo Kake at this very moment might be a little tired about this. And that's something that, like, we talked about it in chat. Sometimes your mental stamina takes a toll that, like, it forces you into options that you normally wouldn't go for. Yeah, and it's, uh, honestly, this is a really smart thing for Bestness to do. Because this matchup can already be really frustrating for a snake to deal with, uh, usually. And if you can just, you know, continue to just wear him down. Oh, wrong, wrong, pick, wrong pick, wrong pick, wrong pick. Someone really said, so, so Vance, what's the Tinder looking like right now? Bro. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like kind of seeing someone. So it's like, I don't even have Tinder. Cool. I'm like, I haven't used Tinder in forever, man. Jesus. I've never really used it. Me neither. I think I'm gonna download it just to like, just to have funny conversations on there. Not actually try to meet people for real, for real. Yeah, I'm like, dude, I don't use it. It seems pretty, it seems pretty funny to use it that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, you like games? <laughs> anyway, so yeah. um, let's see what Best Nest does. Uh, somehow he's able to play on Battlefield again. I think Best Nest was so good on this stage, but let's see what Apollo Kage has in store here. Like, what? What? I want to see what his, his plan is on Battlefield to get a game right now. So far, so good. Oh, I don't know about that down smash. He just see for it himself. I was gonna oh, say, no. man. Oh no, every this is already a lot of percent. <laughs> he was doing so well. Okay, that's a great dash attack there. Damn, that just flat out killed. Oh, that was I'm, so strong. I am amazed. I am not gonna lie. I, I know up air is ridiculous for Ness, but Jesus, that. <sighs> okay, I was All gonna right, say, let me yeah, just, yeah. Let me... Yeah, let me just use this Predator Missile real quick. Like, <laughs> doesn't matter how many times you air dodge, hit the Nikita, you're gonna get blown up. I feel in the minority calling it the enemy chaser from um, Metal Slug, but that's just me, man. Anyways. <sighs> Almost gets the forward air. That's all I think about when I see the, the Nikita. I just the, think of Call of Duty Predator Missile. The AC-130, <laughs> man, the Predator Missile. Good times, good times, man. All right, well, we're telling you oh. right now, man, Apollo Kage is not wait, having wait. good times, but this is a pretty close game compared to the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, he's doing pretty well here. Go, go high. I'm surprised Bestness isn't PK thundering that high recovery. He really likes PK Flash in that situation. It really seems like PK Flash, like, after it ends, he can just immediately spot dodge and shield. Doesn't have that much in lag. But... Nice anti-air up tilt from Apollo. Mm -hmm. And Apollo Kage with a lead here, 112. Oh, oh man. Him getting blown up by his own grenade there actually messed him up pretty bad. Ooh, but great TI air. from it. Yeah, that was it. Finally get the forward spike to connect, but Bestness actually DI'd onto the stage. It's so rough too, because Snake is in that weight class where like he can actually get really comboed. And it's crazy because what what Bestness is doing is understanding Snake's weight class and how he can get combo, but also like taking away the one thing that would stop him from that is grenades. And you haven't really seen Apollo Kake pull out grenades because he's so scared of like Bestness just getting the heals. I, I was gonna say he's fine. Yeah, he's coming to the platform. Back air? No, yep. I mean that almost like destroyed Apollo Kake. That was a really scary up B. Apollo Kage with the down air cross up, but it was so rough too, because like literally Bestness is able to get the read that with the back of his own. Kage looking for some play here in the neutral. You gotta respect it too. He's going back to bare basics. Like, okay, gets this back air, looking for stage control. No grab. I like that. Spaces himself, trying to get an opportunity here. Go high. 
super patient play from both players right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, sneaks in the back air. Oh, Bethness at the ledge again. Oh, that tech, the tech chase from the PK fire. Oh man. Ooh. Could you send the size ball just because like he would have healed something if Apollo Kage threw it? And then either way, he gets a side stall for a back air. Kage looking for a chance here in the neutral. He's playing it too. Look at the way Kage hasn't been faltering. Bestness's cross ups are so good right here. Oh no. Oh man, Bestness is like praying for the poke there on the dash attack. I don't think that move crosses up usually. No, so it doesn't. So if Apollo Kage really just held shield there, he probably could have killed with up tilt out of shield. And the thing, too, for Kage is the way that he's been using shield. It got damaged enough that, yeah, that dash attack was able to poke through. So Bestness pretty much knew, like, the more Kage hold sh held shield, the more, like, dash attack was going to have a chance to poke through. And it just paid off in the end. Kage. Now in a position where he has to reverse 3 0 Bestness just to win the tournament. And Bestness is just looking so prepared in this set right now. Yeah, he's got. He's literally got the 2 0 on Kage at this moment. Kage. He's been doing so far. Like, he's been adapting slowly. You know, he finally, like decided you know let's go back to basics let me play the fundamental game here let's play neutral a little bit more here let's let's try to pick apart best nest at the very core right it's playing that neutral but best nest is one step ahead of him here we'll see how kaga can do it size ball no confirm here 84 on kage it's an attack too very very scary to miss a tech versus best nest seeing how many jab locks this guy gets off a down tilt Oh, oh no. he finally got the forward smash to work. Man, nothing like an RBG to the face to send a message, man. <sighs> yeah, I'll throw it. They only did 10% on that stock. Oh, try to parry the PK flash, but it took so much percent. Good job out of shield. A little bit greedy with the force smash on the landing. Yeah, I was gonna say like Apollo. Look, look at how much damage Apollo Kage has taken for trying to land on one of the platforms of the stage. Like at this point, he has to go towards ledge to avoid that. But I respect it too because you have to worry about the PK Thunder or the PK Cross uh -huh. there. <clears throat> Bestness with the Nair, man. He's literally just one stock away from taking MSM 42 here, and Kage with a down tilt set up here with the napalm. I like this play. Like I said, he's going back to just bare basics just to try to like take down Bestness at the core and it pays off here. Even stocks, man, Kage's chance to stop the 3 0 from Bestness. Oh my goodness, that up B was such a good combo extender. He actually, if he got that racket to connect on himself, I, I think a Pal Kage would have flat out died to that up B. But now he's back at zero. It's almost as if all that work he did putting out that percent on Bestness is. Completely nullified. Yeah. Down air? Oh, he's styling. He definitely had a free down air up air. Oh, Kai. We only got one stock left for business, so it's not completely over. He gets, if you can get this stock, you can bring this to game five, but Ooh. betting it. All not game five, I meant to game four, but it doesn't even matter. Bestness taking that 3 0. Paul Kage bang it all on that YOLO forward smash, giving Bestness the easiest, easiest punish. Oh man, 
hate to see it go out like that, but Fastness was so, so good.